Tigger Ro and welcome back to another Uncensored Eats cooking video tutorial. Today on my menu, I am making jerk chicken tacos with grilled pineapples and a light apple cider vinegar coleslaw with whole grain mustard and Irish whiskey. I am really and super excited for this menu because I've been singing at jerk chicken tacos for the past week. And I just couldn't wait to get this recipe out to you all. Before we get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend. Hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Come on over table side so I can introduce to you all what I have here in front of me. Okay, guys, welcome table side. Before we get into making tacos, we are going to start by making a dummy jerk sauce. So I have some herbs I got from our garden. Thyme and rosemary or Jamaican scratch bonnet pepper, parsley, this right here I may use for garnish, it's called Chevelle. Right here I have all my ingredients in this bowl for my dummy jerk sauce and I am so excited to share this recipe with you guys. This is a completely different recipe from all the goodness that we are cooking today. I have my avocado and my limes for my guacamole. I have my mayo, I have my brown sugar here rice wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I have my chicken that was cleaned in vinegar, salt, and lemons. I have my canola oil, my corn tortillas. You can use fried tortillas if you choose. My pineapple. In this bowl, I have garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and obey seasoning. And in here, I have my coleslaw mix. So one of the ingredients that I'm using today, I am using Irish whiskey whole grain mustard. And that is going to be super dope. That's it for all the ingredients. So let's get into seasoning our chicken and let that rest for about 30 minutes before we start grilling it. Then we'll move into making our dummy jerk sauce. The chicken I have here in this bowl are boneless thighs. You can use any part of the chicken you like as long as it's boneless. I like the boneless thighs because it is juicier after it is done cooking. So I'm just going to add all my powdered seasonings in here. I'm going to add a little oil, a little salt, and a little black pepper. And we're just going to give this a mix. So you want to mix your chicken until each piece of your chicken is thoroughly coated in seasonings. So we're going to let this sit and rest for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to come back and add our delicious roasted jerk sauce on this goodness. Now that our chicken is well seasoned and it is resting, we're going to start making our dummy jerk sauce. So I'm just going to add all my thyme on my sheet tray my peppers and all the other ingredients that I have. I'm going to add a little bit of rosemary because I do like rosemary in my jerk sauce. I'm taking the needles off the rosemary because the stems are too thick to be added into the sauce. It is fine with the thyme because they're still very delicate and they haven't matured fully. I'm just going to add some oil, a pinch of brown sugar, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of black pepper. We're going to give this a really nice mix. We are going to roast this in a 425 degree oven for 10 minutes. We'll come back and we'll start making our sauce. I'll see you guys in a bit. In the meantime, while our veggies are in the oven, we're going to start making our guacamole. These are really nice. So you want to cut open your avocados. Oh, these are really pretty. I always squeeze my seeds out. It's an easier way to get it out, or you could use a knife to remove it. Some lime zest. And we're going to start breaking down our avocados. Thank you. 
Next, we're going to add a little salt, a pinch of black pepper, a little oil, and we're just going to chop some fresh cilantro and parsley and add it into our guacamole. Sprinkle that in there. Now that all our ingredients are in our guacamole, we're just going to keep mixing it in and then we're going to taste to see what our guacamole is like and if it needs any more adjusting, we'll take it from there. Let's taste to see how far our guacamole is at with seasonings. If it needs any more, I'll just add a little bit more. Oh wow, that's really good. So I'm just going to add a tad bit of salt, a little bit more black pepper, freshly squeezed lime juice. And we're just going to mix that in. We're going to move into cutting our pineapple so we can start grilling our pineapples for our tacos. Add a little oil to our pineapples. A little salt. And a little black pepper. Now we're going to move over to our stove side and we are going to start grilling our pineapples for jerk chicken tacos. So we're going to let this grow. Oh my goodness, look at this. These look beautiful. Look at those pineapples. They look gorgeous. So we're just going to keep grilling until all our pineapples are nicely charred and ready to go. So we'll come back in a bit and we'll check on our pineapples and we'll just head over to start making our dummy jerk sauce. Oh my god guys, look at our veggies. They're looking really good, and we're about to start blending our veggies for a dummy jerk sauce. So I'm just going to add all my roasted vegetables, except one of my peppers, into my food processor. I'm going to add another pinch of brown sugar a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper and I'm going to add a little bit of oil some rice wine vinegar and we're just going to blend that up voila guys this is my roasted dummy jerk sauce this is not the authentic thing but this will definitely do the trick we're about to add our jerk seasoning into our chicken and we're going to mix that in and this is going to marinate into this chicken for another 30 minutes This is starting to smell really good. It looks really good. You can use gloves for the pepper, or if you're brave enough, you don't have to use gloves. I'm brave enough, so <laughs> I don't have to use gloves. This is going to 
rest for 30 minutes until all the seasons are soaked into the meat. And then we're gonna come back and we're going to start grilling our chicken in batches. We're about to check on our pineapples to see how nicely charred they are. And yeah, we'll be right back guys. Oh my goodness, look at these pineapples. They are deliciously, deliciously charred. We're going to remove these from our grill. We're gonna put them on a sheet tray, let them rest before we cut it. And yeah, this is looking really good, guys. This is looking good, it is smelling good. I wish you guys could smell this, but I do hope you guys try this recipe and let me know what you think. about 30 minutes and we're about to start grilling or chicken so you want to grill your chicken in batches and not all at once because your chicken will overcrowd your pan and it will release a lot of moisture once your chicken is grilled off we're going to boil our chicken in a 425 degree oven to get that nice finishing char that we're looking for we're just going to pop these in the oven at 425 degrees and we're going to boil these up and let them char a little bit more to get that nice finishing smoky flavor that we're looking for. While we're waiting, we're just going to move into making our light apple cider vinegar coleslaw. And I'm just going to pop some of this baby into my bowl. Next, I'm going to add a heaping pinch of brown sugar. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. That is about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. A pinch of salt. A pinch of black pepper. I'm going to add one teaspoon of my Irish whiskey whole grain mustard. I like using my hands to touch everything because I like to be very personal with my food. And we're just going to mix that in. This looks really good and it smells really, really good. Like, oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. This is definitely light and it is delicious. All right, so we're just going to move our coleslaw into our tiny bowl. And we're going to let this rest up until we are ready to start plating. Next, we're going to start making our spicy mayo, which is also known as aioli. So I'm just gonna add a clove of garlic. In my food processor, I'm going to add some mayo, a pinch of black pepper, a pinch of salt, fresh squeezed lime juice, my roasted Jamaican pepper, and I like spicy, so I'm just going to add a little bit of sriracha. And we're just going to start processing this. This looks really good. This is what my spicy mayo looks like. Let's start breaking down these charred babies. These are looking really good. Oh my goodness, guys. Everything is done, done, done. Look at our chicken. So we're just going to cut these down. These are nice and charred, but not too charred. They are nice and spicy, but not too spicy. They are well rested. This is looking good. It smells good and it tastes good. I cheated and tasted it, and it tastes really good. So now that our chicken is all cut up and done, we're going to clean up, come back, and we're going to start plating our tacos. All right, guys. So I grilled these flour tortillas. I am doing two different kind of tortillas. I am doing corn 
And I'm also doing flour. I know I said uh, corn in the beginning, but I completely forgot that I am doing flour. I'm doing flour for me and corn for my husband. He completely is obsessed with corn tortillas. So we're going to start by adding our guacamole on the bottom of our tortilla. Next, we're going to add our pieces of chicken. Oh my God, this looks so good. Next, we're going to add our coleslaw. Oh my God, guys, these look so delicious. So delicious. Grilled pineapples. And finally, my spicy mayo. I'm just going to add a dollop of spicy mayo. This is really, really, really spicy. So this is it, guys. These are my jerk chicken tacos. They are looking really good. I really can't wait to dig into this dish. This is looking really good. It is filled with nothing but flavor. Again, it's your girl, Roll from Uncensored Eats. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend. Hit the notification bell down below. You can be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you guys for always tuning in. Thank you guys for always watching. Thank you guys so much. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.